everybody, hope you're well. Gary Fernan for Photo Receptor Cell. Uh, and in today's guide, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a grid collage. Uh, in particular, in this, in this uh, guide, I'm going to show you how to do a square one. So let's get straight into it. I'm in already in Photoshop here. So let's start by saying create new. That brings up our new document box. And what we would like to do is we're going to change the width and the height to 1080. Oh, 1080. Leave the resolution at uh, 72. Make sure that your background is white. And hit create. And that pops out our grid. Now, what we're going to do is we need to actually grid this box and it's quite simple to do view scroll down to new grid layout now I'm going to use uh, four photographs just for uh, speed really more than anything else but you can you can have as many gr uh, columns and rows as, as you would like um, but say for this guide I'm going to stick to just the four so I will say two columns two rows leave everything else blank yeah, okay and there we are we've got our grid set out for us so come over to the new layer icon select that and then over to the rectangular marquee tool and then we're just going to select oh before we do that before I forget come over to your color palette uh, and just select a color that's for your foreground all will become clear here yeah, okay now all we're going to do is select a a quadrant in this case right click on there and hit fill when it asks you foreground color normal 100% now top tip here is make sure that preserve transparency is unticked yeah, okay there we go and all we're going to do is we're going to repeat that for the other three quadrants okay so we just repeat those steps so for example we go to new layer a mark rectangular marquee tool is already selected change the color and then just select the next quadrant, right click, fill, okay, and so on. So let me just go ahead and do this while I'm doing this. You can talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so once we've got all our our grids colored command D to deselect now the reason why we change the colors of each quadrant it just helps um, separate each each quadrant um, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to select a layer so one two three and four let's start off with layer layer one we're gonna drop our photograph into Photoshop okay let's just position that and once we've got that in position all we can do click up to the check mark there you could hit enter um, but if you wanted to know that's what that little tick button was for and then come over to that layer right click on the layer and say create clipping mask now what clipping mask does is it just affects the layer directly below and not the others now I'm going to say command T bring up the transform or the free transform command holding down shift whilst we move the box we can then resize the photo accordingly when we're happy hit enter or back up to the top hit the check check button there now obviously when you move on to the other layers you can come back to uh, to each individual layer and you can resize um, if if you're not happy with um, the consistency of all the uh, 
or all the layers sizing. So again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now drop in other images into these other quadrants. Exactly the same thing. So we select layer two, bring in our next image, just literally drag and drop. I can position that in there. Enter or the check button. Right click, create a clipping mask. Command T, bring up the free transform. Hold down shift and adjust the size accordingly. And we can uh, we can reposition that as well if we if we chose to. I'm quite happy with it there actually. Um, check it. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the uh, other layers. Once again, talk amongst yourselves. I will be a matter of seconds. Okay, so we now have our photos in our grid collage. Now what I want to do is just add out something a little bit extra because at the moment um, you, can, you can still see this the slight top of the um, the layer underneath it. So in this particular case, layer four, you can see the green coming through, which is another reason why we, we color code each quadrant because then you can see whether or not your alignment is, uh, is, is correct or not. But don't worry if you don't do that because I'm going to show you a nice little tip to separate each of these um, each of these quadrants. So we select the, the top layer, new layer. So working on a new layer. Select the entire image. Right, right click on the marching ants. There we go. Say so stroke. Now keep the width at 10 pixels. Gonna pick a color. So now I'm working on a white on white backdrops here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it gray, just to add that separation. Uh, and we're going to work on inside. Leave the blending mode as normal and 100% opacity. And again, remember, leave preserve transparency unchecked. Hit OK. There we go. So it brings up. Um, a nice border on the outside. But what we also need to do is we need to work on the vertical and the horizontal. So all we do, come over to our single row marquee, select that, and again right click, stroke, Leave everything as it is, other than location. This time we're going to select center. Hit OK, pushes it out. And then do the same thing again for the, the verticals. Okay, and then once you're happy there, hit D to deselect. And there we have it. Now, obviously what we need to do is we need to get rid of these grid marks so you can see what you've done. So we go to view, down to show, click on uh, guides and it gets rid of those and there you go, there you have it. You have now a uh, an image grid collage but you've also added in separation bars as well. It's, it's not particularly diff difficult it can be quite time consuming depending on how many photos you had, hence why I've only used four photos here. But guys, give this a go. It's great for um, for presentation work and things like that. So uh, yeah, give it a crack. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, and we shall see you, I shall see you next time. Take care guys.